Dom, congratulations on the new four-year deal. I can see how delighted you are to commit your future to the club. Yeah, I think um, since I came here, really, it's been um, such a great time. I've really enjoyed it um, on and off the pitch. Um, it's a great club and um, definitely in the last few few years, um, I think we're going in, in a great direction, um, especially since the new owners come in, new, new coaching and stuff. And I think um, especially this season, we've we got a lot to show and especially over the next few years. I was going to say, it's at the start of a, a very exciting new era here at AFC Bournemouth. That must have been at the forefront of your mind, you know, when you were penning this deal. Yeah, for sure. Um, like I mentioned, since um, all the new people have come into the club, they've brought a, a great new ambition. And I think, um, yeah, I think that matches, matches mine and, and all the players, really. I think um, we're all quite gelled together, really. Obviously, we've um, got a new new group now. Uh, a lot of new players have come in and, um, yeah, they're, they're going to bring great quality to the team as well. And um, like I said, I think we're, we're all very ambitious and um, really excited to, to see what's going to happen in the next few seasons. Just tell us a little bit more about playing under Andoni Iriola. You've obviously got two got two goals and an assist already. You must be really enjoying your football. Yeah, it's been a good start to the season. Um, it's been quite a tricky tricky start. We know we've got another tough couple games coming up, but I think, um, like I mentioned, I think we've got a great squad, um, great manager as well, and um, still early days, still clicking. And I think um, when everyone's back fit and um, we get going, I think um, yeah, I think we're, we're going to do really well. When you look back, sort of over the last four years here, a lot's happened, a lot's changed. Just tell us about some of those highlights. What comes to mind as you know, some of your, your real high moments? Probably say the last two years. Um, getting back into the, the Premier League, obviously that, that season was fantastic uh, in the Championship to, to get back to where we want to be, the Premier League. And then um, obviously last year, uh, first, first season back and um, staying up, I think um, that was another great achievement. And um, like I said, I just want to want to kick on and um, yeah, I think everyone at the club does as well. In terms of goals, there's some special ones in there. Your first Premier League goals against Leicester, the Fulham one from kickoff. I can think of another one against Huddersfield. Which ones stand out for you? Yeah, I get asked this one quite a lot, and I think everyone puts it into my mouth just the Fulham one. <laughs> I think um, that one was quite quite special and unique. Um, even the gaffer uh, mentioned the other day that. Uh, he tried to copy it once um, last season as well. So um, yeah, it went quite viral. And um, yeah, I probably said that's probably my, my most special goal. And you mentioned earlier the squad that we've got here currently at the moment. There's some new faces, some faces that have been here for a while. It's a, a really good group of lads. That must be, again, a big part of, of you signing on. Yeah, for sure. I think um, like since I've been here, the, the club's really um, been about that real family-like. And uh, I think the, the squad that we have now with, with a few of the old boys and, and a lot of new boys, I think, um, it's great and I think we all get on really well and um, can't wait to, to have the, the new boys that, that haven't played yet as well uh, with us on the pitch and I think um, yeah, I think we'll gel together uh, really well. Now on a personal level, it's been a, a big week for you already, the birth of your daughter Amaya. Just tell us what the last few days have been like for you and your family. Yeah, hectic. Um, I'd probably say the best days of my life, um, obviously bringing uh, my daughter into, into the world is something that um, it's a dream really, uh, just can't really explain the feeling. But um, yeah, I'm so happy that she's here and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see her grow. Obviously, you, your daughter's been born here, your first child born here in Bournemouth. You've been here for the last four years. How much does Bournemouth sort of feel like home to you? Yeah, I think, um, like you said, I've been here uh, quite a few, few years now and um, I love it on and off the pitch. Um, especially when it's sunny, obviously, uh, the beaches and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to, to walk her down there. But, um, no, nah, I love, love living here and, um, yeah, it's a great environment. On top of that, it's also your birthday. So, along with the new baby, it must be a, a pretty perfect week for you. Yes, like I said, quite hectic, really. Um, I haven't really thought much about my, my birthday this year, I'm not going to lie, with um, Amaya coming uh, just a few days before. So, um, that's kind of taken, taken a shine. But, um, yeah, another, another big day, so um, yeah, it's not been a bad week. Four more years at the club, what do you hope to achieve over that time? I think, um, especially over the next few years, we want to establish ourselves as um, a great great Premier League team. Um, like I've mentioned, we definitely got the, the tools to do it with um, everything that's happened in, in the last year. And I think um, I'm really excited and I think uh, everyone at the club is as well. So um, we're all on the same foot and uh, yeah, hopefully we can, can achieve some, some good finishes in the Premier League. And just finally, what's your message to the fans who have sort of supported you through thick and thin and I'm sure will continue to do so? Yeah, just thank you for, for all your support um, 
from the first day really um, means a lot to me uh, never goes unnoticed and um, hopefully we can share some some more special times